we were a little bit better than last week. Uh, that was the, the uh, I suppose, the challenge I put to these boys. That let's get a little bit better in that too, uh, both structures and use of the footy, perhaps our intent. So yeah, I thought they did that. In fact, like you've beaten them in contested ball, you've t- out tackled them, won the stoppages. Is that sort of what you're looking for? Is that does that mean a lot to you to, to do that against a team of Collins class and yeah, toughness? That's the way we want to play. So I don't think it matters you know, who you play or you know, whether you know what round it is. But the idea of the NAB series is to prepare for the home and away series and it's a new coaching group. So that the boys are having different and new expectations, and it's good for them to experience that over the month. How much of a boost is that? I know round two in that cup, you're missing a lot of players. You're all mixing, and matching. And Trying new stuff, but just wondering how big a boost is it for your pre-season? Where you do beat a side like Collingwood in stats like tackles, pre-season, uh, contested ball, come out with a good win. Oh, that, that's pretty hard to put a, you know, mm. a figure on it, and those sort of things are also pretty difficult to answer right now. Mm. Uh, that stuff is answered um, down the track. Look, we won't spend any time talking about who it was that we happened to beat all those types of things that we'll just we'll go back and review the the targets that we wanted to hit and they were around you know, contested footy and, and some new structures and the boards will have to sit through behind the goals vision of me going through that on Monday. Mm. Um, Nathan, uh, how difficult are you or how easy are you finding the adjustment under the new coaching group? Uh, for me personally I love it because that contested brand of footy it uh, suits how I play and I think a lot of the boys um, we've had a pretty gruelling pre-season so we're prepared pretty well for it and um, it's just good that we performed two weeks in a row especially coming back from last week and we're just looking to improve again next week. What's the major difference that you're detecting now out on the ground? Um, probably amongst the boys just the communication and structures and we're working together better as a unit and um, obviously the intent and competitiveness and guys willing to put their head over the footy is really impressive. James Magner and Tom Couch have obviously been two standout rookies. What what do you take from what you've seen with them? Um, oh, well, both those boys have come in the hard way, obviously playing through the VFL system and spending a fair bit of time there. And they're just hungry for an opportunity, and they don't leave any stone unturned. Just the way they train and prepare, and um, yeah, they've, they've been pretty inspiring, really, because um, it didn't come easy to them. But they, you, we saw tonight that they can perform. At, um, AFL level. Yeah, just a word from the coach on especially um, Magnus' performance tonight. Seven, I think seven clearances. Stafford can see like he was really good in the... In the yeah, he was. Um, that's the way that Jimmy's played his footy. Uh, it has been in the, in the VFL, which is a good standard, a very good standard of footy, but obviously it's not the AFL. And when you bring people into your, into your footy club, particular guys of, of that age, I think he's played senior footy for six years, um, that's where he plays, he is a, he's a clearance winner, so we need to put him in there and see how he goes over pre-season, so uh, he's aware of where he stands, we were able to elevate two rookies for the entire year, one because of the fact that we have one veteran, one because we have Max Gorn who will miss the season due to a, a knee reco. And we've also got Jake Spencer, who's on the long term, which may allow us to put a, a third one up. So uh, those boys are aware of that, and you know, we'll make some decisions on that at the end of the NAB series. Mark, are you heartened by what, he, what you've seen, and how long is this process? I know it's probably a, always an ongoing process. Oh, look, Pete, uh, yeah, I don't know how, how long it is. No one really knows that. Uh, you know, we're miles. You know, we're still a fair way away from the start of the home and away season. Um, look, I'm I'm happy because I, I think that tonight's result was a little bit better than last week's, and the amount of times that we stuck to the structure that we want at stock plays was better this week. And our tackle count, although we played in monsoonal conditions, uh, we were we lowered our colours last week, and we got back on the on the positive point, so yeah, they're things that are pleasing. Mark, just on radio, um, Mulhouse and Wayne Carey have been pretty sort of strong in comments on Jack Watts. And, you know, there's nothing new there. We all know that, you know, he's been had a big target on his back yeah, the, whole way through his, the whole way through his career. 
But just can we get a comment from you on how, how is pre seasons going? Because there's some pretty strong comments on the radio about it tonight. Yeah, well, I can't make a comment about what those two yeah. guys have said because uh, you know, I haven't heard them. Yeah. You know, although yeah, there's a few premiers between those two and uh, you know, they do know what they're talking about. Uh, yeah, look, I, I see Jack as a, a very talented young footballer who's played 40 games. And people talk about oh, his whole career. Well, his whole career is about two years long and uh, he's got a lot of talent. He, he has, he's got some special talents. There's not too many players that can influence a game with low possession counts. Uh, I think he can. Uh, he's certainly being asked by me to play perhaps in a, in a different way to what he has in the past. You know, that's okay. Uh, he's still got a, clearly a developing body. He's going to get bigger over the years. He's got some tricks. I thought his defensive work tonight was uh, was really good. Uh, I think he had a high inside 50 count uh, for someone who a lot of the time was playing deep, so he makes the most of his opportunities. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been through a bit, I think, over pre-season. I think I said one comment in October that's been replayed about 35 times, so it seems that as though I talk about Jack all the time. Uh, he, he trains really hard. He's, he's a good young talent, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy to, to have him in our, on our list. Where do you think you sit, Nathan, um, in the competition going into this season? On what you've seen just in the first two games? Um, well, it's pretty hard. 13th, hard. Off that <laughs> one. I think we finished 13th last year, we'll start there. Roughly, or you look at the other way, we're all either even on the bottom, I reckon, Jonesy, at this stage. What do you think? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pete. Oh, I don't <laughs> want to... No, no injuries. <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs>